after <laughs> reading about rabbits, I realized that one rabbit was just equivalent to one cow. You know, okay. and meanwhile, that one rabbit needs very small space, mm -hmm. an average of um, 7.5 square feet, that can produce enough meat you would get at the end of the year from one cow. Wow. So it's easier and smaller to start a rabbit farm than to think of India. And besides, to, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've always been passionate about rabbits. Rabbits are prolific breeders, producing large quantities of healthy and tasty meat. Their rate of production is faster than that of pigs, goats or sheep. If properly raised and cared for, a female rabbit can produce more than 15 times her own weight in a year. Take a listen to Adute Brown, who quit public service to become a rabbit farmer and migrated from a backyard farm to a 30 door unit in a year. You're welcome to Farmer Brown. Okay my small abode in rabbit production. I see. So how yeah. many rabbits do you have here? Uh, currently, we have uh, 110 doe units. It means uh, we have 110 females, matured females, and then uh, 12 males. Oh, okay. So 12 versus 110. Why is that? Uh, there's an imbalance. Why is that? Well, uh, the, the male rabbit is a serious polygamist. <laughs> it's entitled to 10 females, so oh, each wow. male to 10, yeah. But how do you know all these? Well, research and science, hmm. you know, it's available, information is out there. Yeah. How come you came into uh, rabbit farming? Well, rabbit farming, yeah. oh, okay. Um, seriously, from my infancy, I've kept rabbits, I've kept all kinds of animals on a smaller scale. Okay. Um, ignorantly, w we're not doing it professionally. But uh, um, my background is an agriculturist. I trained at uh, Ohio Greek College. So after work um, with the public service, I now left the public service and uh, decided to start something on my own about 20 years ago. So next year, Come May next year, I'll be 20 years in rabbit production as a full-time job. Wow. Yeah, as a full-time job. Why so. did you decide rabbits? There are other sectors or yes, divisions um, in, the, in the agricultural value chain. Yes, there are other animals. Now, one, I wanted to do something different. Two, after reading about rabbits, I realized that one rabbit was just equivalent to one cow. You know, okay. and meanwhile, that one rabbit needs very small space, mm -hmm. an average of um, 7.5 square feet, that can produce enough meat you would get at the end of the year from one cow. Wow. So it's easier and smaller to start a rabbit farm than to think of India. And besides, to, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've always been passionate about rabbits. So yeah. one rabbit, I understand, can produce about 15 units? More than 15 units. One rabbit is supposed to give you an average 30 babies in a year. 30 babies yeah. in a year? On the average, 30 babies in a year. And then, so. how lo what's the lifespan for a rabbit? Uh, when, when you say lifespan, are you talking about the general lifespan? General lifespan. What, it's, um, what I have seen, I've kept I, 10 years. But uh, the productive lifespan, three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Th three years. Yeah. So what happens when they are no longer productive? They become meat. Ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, they're no more breeding animals than straight. Mm. They become carcass. We, we, we slaughter for meat. Okay. Yeah. So nothing is wasted. Mm. I see that these ones here, mm. most of them have red eyes yes and some have black eyes right yes what is the difference um now let's start with the red-eyed ones the red-eyed rabbits are basically the new zealand white and the california okay now my purpose my objective of going into rabbit production is to produce rabbit meat so i have to use the best breeds that will give me rabbit meat in the shortest possible time 
So the number one, number two breeds, that's the New Zealand and the California, they are the best when, when you want to specialize mm. in meat production. So I have focused on rabbit meat production. I'm using just these two breeds. We have a few other ones like the checkers with black eyes and things. Those are here basically to um, let people know about other breeds because mm. people come here to learn about rabbits. Mm. So I've kept, but majority of my best, about 95% are the New Zealanders and the Californians. Interesting. Mm. So uh, rabbit is a white meat. Very white meat. And it's, you know, nutritious for those trying to uh, check their weight, exactly. health, heart Everything. diseases, and yeah. all those things. Can you tell us more about it? Okay. Um, when it comes to meat, meat has protein, meat has fat, mm -hmm. meat has cholesterol, and uh, meat has calories. So these are the four major ingredients you get in meat. Mm -hmm. Out of the four, there's only one positive thing, mm -hmm. and that is protein. Mm. The rest are all negatives. Now, why rabbit meat, and then for health purposes, is that rabbit has the highest of the positive. So rabbit meat has the highest protein, and has the lowest of the negatives. So has the lowest fat, has the lowest calories, mm -hmm. has the lowest cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So comparatively, when you put rabbit against most of the conventional meat, rabbit is always number one. So that is for health reasons, you must go on rabbit. And it's easy to produce and fast to grow rabbits. Mm. Very simple, straightforward. Maximum you need 120 days and then you can produce three months. Two, four months, you can produce uh, 2.5 kg rabbit ready for slaughter. Why mm. is everything about rabbits uh, the weight and yeah. not necessarily like one we, we'll look at we'll look at the size and then call the price mm. no we we must be international i mean that's the standard normal standard practicing internationally everything is by weight mm -hmm. so i'm not cheated and i don't cheat no. and it's easier to to calculate everything no i'm ca i do everything by weight and i want to give an example i need to achieve 2.5 kg in four months live weight my slaughter weight then how much feed i need to save certain amount of feed certain quantity of feed in that four months period that will help me gain or make my 2.5 kg so because i'm dealing in weights it's always easier for me to calculate my weight know how um, balanced my feed should be and what quantity to save daily till i I hit the 120 kg, uh, 2.5 kg in 120 days. So, so weight is the best way to go. So how much do you, do you give them daily? Uh, every day, normal rabbit, like a dough. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, uh, when, when I say dry doughs, then this is one without babies. Okay. She's alone. Okay. She saved 120 grams of feed a day. 120 grams? Yeah. And then, and then a mother mm -hmm. gets a mother with the babies, young babies, will get her normal 120 mm -hmm. plus an extra 50 percent for the first three weeks. So it means 180. It's about 180. Okay. Up to three weeks. After three weeks, then they are saved um, 100 percent of their ration. So they are saved 200 grams a day because the mother is going to eat with her babies. Yeah. I would have loved to see how they <laughs> okay, so breastfeed the babies. Uh, okay, so let but me see. Some I'm expecting babies. Okay, today, today is the twenty first. Today is twenty twenty second. Yeah. Okay, now this animal was serviced on the nineteenth. Okay. So, I three days ago I've been expecting her to litter. Now she's pulled her fur. Normally, the mother pulls her fur. To line the litter box. Oh, okay. So we're going to look in to find out if she's giving birth. So they do it themselves. They do it themselves. Okay, not yet, not yet. She's not giving birth yet. Okay. She's prepared her box. So it means she's almost ready. She's gotten herself ready. So by evening, mm -hmm. I'm sure there'll be there'll be babies. Now let me check. Okay, now. This is another crop. 19th. It's also 19th. 
So she's pulled. Mm. And then let me check. Okay, I think I can. Oh, there's a baby. There are babies. See, there are babies now. How many? Uh, see, one, two, three, four. So she had four kids. Oh, okay. So how long will it take her to give um, to produce again? And it depends on the cycle you run. Okay. So normally I do 65, 70 day cycle. In other words, when the babies are five weeks, mm -hmm. the dough will be serviced again. Oh. So she must, you know, excuse me, she must uh, litter five times in a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this has also got the babies. See? Mm -hmm. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> now, so they take care of their babies. Okay. So the babies pop out of the box. Then they start to eat the same feed. Mm. Then we pick them out after five weeks. Five weeks we wean them, we separate them from their mothers. And then we finish them off by 120 days. Okay, so you're explaining why you've written this like is there any other reason why you've written on these boards aside, for, for records, aside the mating for record purposes okay now aside mating what else do yeah. you keep as records i keep everything about them as records now this date mm -hmm. is going to guide me as to when the animal is expected to be ready for meat now the this record m10 gives me information about the male that mm -hmm. serviced the female. Okay. Then the P here, that's the parity, gives me information about how many times the doe has littered this year. Oh. And then now you also get other information when you do your analysis. You try to find out which females and which males gives you, um, when you take your average mm -hmm. of a uh, seven uh, liters per cycle, which one gives you the average you want. So it helps you to uh, what we call replacements. If you want to do replacements, it helps you to, it guides you to a particular source. Oh. Same rabbits with a good mothering ability, you expect that there will be a Passover, I mean, it will be passed on to the elitists. Oh. So they can also have that same traits. I to see. Take care of them. So, I mean, farming without records, it's, it's as useless as anything other thing else. <laughs> If you want to farm and farm successfully, there should be ad very adequate records on what you're doing. Accurate uh -huh. records. If, you, if you're not keeping records, then you know, I'm, I'm sorry, you're not doing the right thing. Mm. Interesting. So what yeah. is that? Okay. For? That is a watering system. Okay. I have designed this place such that me alone, it takes me in the morning one and a half hours to attend to them, me alone. So I'm using systems that makes it easier for me to do that. Okay. So this is my water source. Okay. In the morning, I come in here mm. and then I fill this bucket with water. Once I fill it, it goes through the lines mm -hmm. and then the rabbits take from water the from the nipples. Oh, okay. It they, they come to suck. They can't when they are thirsty when they are thirsty they just come and suck wow the rabbit so. is a smart animal well it, if you can you can train it to be, <laughs> to be. so it's easier and uh, it, it gives it, it gives you a clean environment true working true. environment and then you just underneath their mm -hmm. cages mm -hmm. is the pool mm -hmm. what's called the their droppings yeah now we're using another technology we have uh, deployed here is ventilation Airflow. Yeah. Are you smelling anything? No. Any odor? No. No. You are not because there's so much ventilation, enough coming in, so it's carrying the ammonia gas, which is generating from the mm -hmm. pool, out. So that's why you're not smelling anything. And then we collect the pool once every three months. Okay. It's accumulated the three months. We rake everything out. And then a new cycle starts. Do you give it out to some farmers or? Five cities a bag. Uh, farmers buy. Okay. So mm. I, I came across uh, a document that says in some parts of Africa they sell 
the rabbit's urine. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wha what's, what's for? Well, um, I've not tried it, but they say they use it as an organic this um, insecticide. That is what they say. I've not tried it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, are you not worried? Despite the fact that here is well ventilated, mm. I know that rabbits come, you know, they have their own challenges, like the pests. And like rodents yes, and things. Yeah. And coming come mm. in into the service. Well, so far, so good. Um, our place is so secured over the years. Um, we have dogs that got them. And um, the rest, hallelujah. We've not had any problem at all with rodents. Like uh, in certain places, people say snakes mm. uh, come in. We've not experienced that. Yeah. And of course, the farm is now in the middle of a city. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some 35 years ago, yes, this place was. I've lived there since 1985. Mm. You know, then this place was bushy, bushy isolated. Mm -hmm. But now we are right in the heart of the city. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing like snakes and rodents? No, no, nothing. How about their uh, diseases? I hear they, they, they get normal cold, like human beings <laughs> also get cold. Yes, they, like every other living thing, yeah. they have their diseases. Yes, rabbits have theirs. But it's interestingly, um, it's better managed when you adapt a preventive strategy than trying to cure. Mm. Yeah, are you getting it? Yeah. So here we adapt preventive strategies. And preventive, one major preventive strategy is adequate space okay. per animal. And then the amount of airflow, you need about eight to 10 exchanges. Mm. Once you have that, you, you, you solve most of your problem. Then it comes to general cleanliness where you want to create an ambience, an environment where the coccidia, co the coccidiosis is one of the biggest challenges in rabbit production. Mm -hmm. yes, so right. if, if, if you don't have that environment for the coccidia to develop, then you are free from coccid. So once a while you can do your prophylactics, drop some coccidia start in the water. Mm. And because we focus on meat production, we medicate our meat, rabbits for meat, up to 90 days if we have to medicate. After 90 days, we don't. It's just water. Mm. Because by 120 days, it should get into the oven. What's the name of their feed? Is there any combination? Well, it's, it's, we have the rabbit feed. Okay. And then essentially, your feed should be balanced. Your feed should have enough protein. It should have the right level of energy, the right level of fat, and the right level um, uh, whatever, calcium and other minerals. So we put them together and then we serve balanced feed. That's why we are serving just 120 grams a day, a day. and it's sufficient. Mm. 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 Recently, the poultry farmers had mm -hmm. a problem with their feed. Exactly. Did you hear about it? Yeah, well, we also face the same thing because we basically use the same ingredients. Oh, okay. We're using the same ingredients, except it's in the, different formulas. Yeah, the rabbits, but then the pig, well, the yes, pig farmers. Um, virtually, rabbit population in Ghana is small. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we talk, nobody hears. <laughs> <laughs> when you compare that to the poultry population, mm -hmm. bird's yeah, population, yeah. you see, that is huge. So people listen to them. But we all use the same ingredients. And we had our challenges. I mean, some few months ago, it was really tough. Really. And look, we. Earlier this year, we were buying a bag of wheat bran for about 18, 19 cities. Mm -hmm. yeah. That challenges that came through now. Now we're buying wheat bran between 40 and 45 cities. Hmm. You know, it's a... But one good thing about rabbit is um, if you go around and you're not getting your feed, you have access to grains. You can feed your rabbits with grains. Yes. Yeah, so that makes it easier. So do you, do you give them some of the yeah. grains? Yes, occasionally. Occasionally. Occasionally, I give some grains. Occasionally. Okay. And I'm Why saying occasionally that? because I, sh I, I'm, I, should, I always want to be sure of the source of the grains. Mm -hmm. You know, people use agrochemicals yeah. anyhow, anyway. Yeah. So if you're not lucky, you would be collecting some, harvesting some grass which has been sprayed and that will kill your rabbits. Hmm. 2017, I lost over 585 grass cutters because I cut grass and I fed them one day and three days they all died. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So using grass, you must be careful, except that you are cult cultivating yourself. 
What about carrots? Did they? Well, but very expensive. How much carrots? You know. <laughs> <laughs> For example, if I'm giving, I'm giving the rabbit ten, 120 grams mm -hmm. of balanced meal. If I want to use grass mm -hmm. to achieve the same effect, to mm -hmm. make the same effect the 120 grams of mash would do, then that should be volumes yeah. of grass and uh, very expensive as well. I see. Mm. Interesting. Um, yeah. I think so, here. technically, you can see two places here. We have the indoor mm -hmm. and then the outdoor. Then the outdoor. Now, the indoor reserved for the breeders, the breeding stock. Mm. So it's the parents that we keep indoor here. Okay. Once the babies come out, after five weeks, we they go the outdoor. And so here, they, I would say the indoor is more of a controlled environment. Mm. You said you weigh everything. Yeah. So what was your least price for well, what uh, we... My, my dressed meat is uh, 60 cities a kilo, dressed. Okay. And then what about live? The live is 40 cities per kilo. Per kg, live weight. Two days. Now, I um, want us to talk about something we call fostering. Okay. So sometimes um, two rabbits give birth on the same time, okay. same day, around okay. the same time. Now, this has leaded. She gave six. Mm -hmm. Naturally, rabbits feed their babies five minutes in every 24 hours. Five minutes in every 24 hours okay. and in five and that five minutes effectively they can feed eight babies at the same time because the mother has eight teeth mm -hmm. four on the side of the body okay. so for five minutes eight kids can take sufficient milk from their mother mm -hmm. and that is enough for the day oh, wow. so to maximize your operations you can also adapt that strategy of fostering. Let's give six. Mm -hmm. So it means there's a shortfall of two. Of two. There's one here. I just noticed. 21st remains little today. Mm -hmm. And she's giving just one. Okay. She's, she's just littered one. one kit. Okay. So it will not make economic sense. To keep it. To keep it. For, to allow that one kit to be with the mother. Okay. You see, <laughs> <laughs> this is just a fair the mother pulled. So fresh baby, mm. you see, it has no fair. Yeah. Good. Now I'm going to foster her to that so one that with the six. With the six, babies. so she will now have seven babies. Then 72 hours from today, mm. I can service the mother. Oh. So I don't have to let allow the mother to just sit, sit, sit waiting. So mm. 72 hours from today, the mother will come back on heat, and I can service it. So. Uh, at the end of the year or the day, I've produced more out of it. But why did it produce just one? Is yeah, sometimes um, there, there could be problems during the process the of uh, uh, not meeting uh, gestation. Okay. Y you know, sometimes the litter, the initial um, um, babies pick pregnancy, you can have higher numbers, but maybe stress or something, then you have what you call a relapse or what you mm -hmm. call a. a um, um, an internal kind of abortion that does not come out. Mm. So in other words, some of the bunnies, kids, unborn, or feed the fetus is reabsorbed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that, that is one cause of it. Uh, w it wouldn't affect it internally or anything? No, 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 no. Okay. So I'm going to put it there, and then in three days' time, I... I meet it with meet it there. Now, but the records I've, I, I have so far mm -hmm. about this animal, it means um, I should not be keeping it for next year. This is the third time it's giving birth. Okay. The first time gave three, mm -hmm. the second time two, four. There's the second time four, four. and, and then, then the third time one. one. It's not that productive. It's not that productive. So, so at the end of um, my five cycles this year, mm -hmm. I look at her output and then realize now. She's not fit to be online. Mm. It must be replaced. <laughs> and it's, you see, you can only do that if you have records. records. So now we're going to foster. And then when you are fostering, you can foster up to three. Three. Yeah. Why? Why is that a minimum? Yeah. Um, if, if, if it's more than three, the, sometimes the, new, um, the mother you're fostering to mm -hmm. will be able to identify 
some of the bunnies you brought in. So mm. maximum three. Okay. And then make sure the, the, they are not more than the kids that the doe has, I'm not more than uh, uh, eight. Mm. Now that I've done the first train, mm -hmm. it's important to indicate it. Yeah, so I bring information. So this one, I say plus two. Then from C. It's okay from here. C79. Okay. So the information here means that the original mother here had six kids, six kids. and I added, I've added one. It's one. One, not two. Mm -hmm. I added one plus one from C79. The one I've added to comes from cage number 79. 79. Okay. C79. So you always have information on your animals and uh, that goes How about here? Don't you indicate now it? Now here, I'm going to indicate the third parity. Mm -hmm. So it's done one, two, three, and then one. Mm. You see? Okay. So we'll cut across this line. F1. 99. Mm. I fostered to C99. Oh, okay. New mother. Good. So that's how I wanted you to see. <laughs> Quite interesting. Yeah. It's, see, agriculture should be scientific. Mm -hmm. It should not be biala biala. <laughs> you know, that's why, you know, our small, very small scale farmers are not able to make impact. Well, but I think now people are getting to know with, with COVID and, you know, yeah. Agric being yeah. the backbone yeah. and helping well, us. Well, Agric has always been the backbone, but it's the, it's the, it's the lip service. <laughs> we talk too much, we don't do anything. Hmm. We talk, the talk is too much. I mean, if one thing wants to be done, it must be done properly. Sure. If it must be done, it, it must, must be, be done, done well. Properly. Don't do the wrong thing. Okay. Now, this is how... I compose my feed. These are the ingredients I use and then the quantities. And it gives me a total of 300 kilos of feed. And I use that for 10 days. So every 10 days, you I prepare 300 kg of feed. Mm. Now, the daily service mm -hmm. yeah. that we serve daily, we serve 30 kilos of feed every day. Okay. Now, the 30 kilos of feed, when we fetch it, depending on the age category of uh, uh, rabbits we're going to give, if they are very young ones, then we'll add coxid uh, coxy, mm. coxidious, coxidious yeah. starch. We'll add 60 grams <coughs> to it. We have grow up 50 grams. And then ALV is an additive that promotes um, digestions and everything. We add 60 grams to it. So we mix that, and then we give to the particular animals. There will be some groups who will not add Coxie. For example, older ones, rabbits that are older, mm -hmm. much older, about four months, you don't need to give co coxie. Oh, okay. Then they are also saved. So the information is here for whoever I'm working with to be able to do what I'll be doing here. Right, okay. Yeah. And then after mixing, preparing the feed, now we store them. Mm. So okay. we store them in buckets. Now, the reason for using such buckets is to reduce contamination. Okay. Imagine it's open or it's in sacks. Mm -hmm. You don't have rodents, mice coming to feed, defecating and it yeah. and contaminating your feed. So we put it in drums, we cover them. Rabbit farming barely requires huge capital and space. Farmer Brown indicated that the only challenge in this field is labor. He further called on government to adopt the National Rabbit Project implemented by General Kutu Echampong in 1975. Money has not been a major challenge because with rabbits, if you are doing it well, definitely within the week, somebody will come and buy rabbits. So money to buy feed for them, money for yourself, you definitely will get it. Rearing for food and job. That's a good concept, you see, but the focus has been on pork, poultry, beef, sheep, goat, you know, that kind of thing. But um, there's a golden opportunity 
if people are giving some, you know, what, what I'll call um, um, seed money, they can easily go into. Now, let's go back to 1972, 72, 75. Under that Operation Feed Yourself concept, there was a national rabbit project. Okay. By the then government of Ghana under um, um, General Kutu Achampo. The project was around Kwabenya. Apparently, the barns they built then for rabbits have become schools for private people and churches. So they set up this national rabbit project to train people, help people eat rabbit and market rabbit. It was a whole huge project. After the overthrow of the government, uh, in you know, Ghana, everything has sunk. But the documents are there for our people to this will research, this will find out. People are there, people who worked at the then uh, National Rabbit Project, some are still alive. Let's talk to them. Let's see what it was like. And then the government should look at it again.